So book review number two, reference book, um, The Field Guide to the Bees of Great Britain and Ireland. Stephen Falk, illustrated by Richard Lewington. Now, already, I mean, I don't know how long I've had this book, but I think if you're even remotely interested in bees, you have to, you have to buy it. It's as simple as that. Um, it's a real eye opener. You don't need to be um, an entomologist or an expert or anything like that uh, to learn from this book and to use it. And, and then also, but do it in conjunction with the Facebook page, UK Bees, Wasps and Ants, which has got incredible people on it. They're super, super helpful. And they really did sort of get me underway on my pathway with identification. Um, they just know so much. Uh, so I don't do pinning or anything like that. I do pick up dead bits, um, put them in the dish and use them for talks. But this is a real eye opener in terms of everything really. The ecology, the timing. Um, and then you can put your findings on iRecord if you want to. Um, but you'll just learn so much. You just, if you have a garden or even if you don't, and you you really, this is just a must. It really is. Um, there you go. There's my favourites. Well, they're all my favourites, but the sharp tail bees I absolutely love. Um, and we're, we're obviously I'm in the south, so quite a lot of the maps show you that things are down in our area so we're very lucky to be in Southampton on the coast next to the water so I really 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 recommend this book um just fab oh hi layers the tiniest tiniest of bees tiny yellow faced bees amazing anyway shall I say it again field guide to the bees of Great Britain and Ireland just perfect